Matt, tonight's uh, County Cup tie against Gainsborough Trinity uh, was one of those where, um, with the side that Trinity brought down, you might have thought it should have been a walk in the park for Grantham. Now, the scoreline looks quite comfortable, but the game itself was anything but that. Yeah, listen, we, we've had to do a proper game plan on them today. They were, they were a good side, they've just won their league, and anyone that's uh, winning things and scoring freely is a danger, no matter who they're playing, because they, they've got a freedom of, of not wanting to lose, and it's not come natural to them. So, they, they were a real threat, and I think the first five minutes we've done really well and scored quickly, put them on the back foot, but actually it helped them more than us because it gave them a, a kick to, to be better. And I think the first half was a very evenly contested game. And then obviously once we scored the second, uh, the game was done and we managed to get the third. And But yeah, we've uh, high credit to them. I think they've been brilliant, uh, managed right. I think for an opponent, what we wanted in a quarter final, I thought they were brilliant, I, re I really did. And was tonight as much about the results or was it as much about the, uh, the minutes the players were getting on the pitch? I think today's been perfect for us because we've managed to rest key players, we've managed to see players that we haven't seen playing a, a, a while, we've managed to change the formation a little bit, we've managed to get, managed to get two young lads on um, or in the academy. Everything that we wanted to see from today we've managed to get um, to get through. Clean sheet as well, scoring three goals again, you know, things like that are, are massive coming into Saturday. And two goals for Nathan Tyson? Yeah, delighted for me. He's had um, such a horrendous few weeks and few months, to be fair, um, with his family. And for him, it's, it's about scoring that first goal. Them small margins that we talked about, the whole team scoring the first, then we'll go and score the second. But for him, it's, it's personal. Um, and I'm so delighted he scored the first goal. And then he scores that second goal. Great header. He took his head off. But what a header that is. And he doesn't do that if he doesn't score the first one. Then set up Mason for, for his goal as well. So everything he's done there, I'm, I'm delighted for him. I really am. And uh, as much uh, as the players that uh, that took part in that uh, that win and, uh, and fashioned that win, uh, a few important players who weren't part of the team. Lee Shaw uh, not in there tonight. Declan Dunn, who's now missed the last uh, the last two games. Uh, what's the uh, the situation with those two in particular? Yeah, Skip as well and Dozer. Um, so we've managed to rest a few, to be fair. Uh, Shorey, we've just seen his stats. That he looked like he's, he's he's burning out. So we have to make sure we don't pick an injury up because he's a key player for us. So it's a perfect opportunity to rest him completely today. Uh, Skip as well with him, his age is, is a huge player for us, so we have to make sure that we rest these players and we have to do it in the right way. Dozer we probably could have got through today, but he's, he's picked up another knock in training, so it's the most unfortunate guy I know at the moment. Does, um, Dunny picked up a, a knock um, in the last game, not the Sheffield on the game before, and Shield in a really bad tackle to him, and he's feeling the effects, but I think a week and he'll be back. Um, like I say, it gives opportunity for lads that haven't been playing regularly and get some 90 minutes under the belt. Brad, uh, Gemmo, Kiz, Tice, Mitch, they get minutes under the belt to play today. And has it given you some food for thought for Saturday's game against Heaven? Yeah, it's, you know what, it's one of the first times we get to pick from a squad of 20 and actually people are going to have to be left out again, which is something we've not had all season. So it's, it's a different kind of... Um, scenario for us to deal with instead of just having to pick 11 and trying to get through the game as much as we can so yeah we can pick people on performance now and some of the lads out there have given us a real headache for Saturday. Matt thank you very much well done tonight. Thank you.